today we shall discuss second application of ordinary differential equation that is application to simple electrical circuit in this article we shall discuss only those simple electrical circuits in which resistance inductance and capacitance are constants and only electromotive force that is applied voltage source is active source okay now here we need some basic relations first relation relation between current i and charge q we know relation between current i and charge q is i is equal to dq by dt or this relation is also can be written as q is equal to integration of i dt okay we need second basic relation that is voltage drop across resistance r the voltage drop across resistance r is ri then third basic relation is voltage drop across inductance l the voltage drop across inductance l is given by l di by dt similarly the voltage drop across capacitance c is given by relation q by c okay we need these four basic relations also we know kirchhoff's voltage law what is the statement of kirchhoff's voltage law the algebraic sum of voltage drops around any closed circuit is equal to the resultant electromotive force in the circuit we know this kirchhoff's voltage law now to solve examples based on the simple electrical circuit first we shall formulate given example when we formulate given example we get differential equation of first order and first degree then how to convert given example in differential equation form that is how to construct a differential equation for given electrical circuit problem to construct differential equation for given electrical circuit problem we use kirchhoff's voltage law so here first we shall discuss how to construct a differential equation for given electrical circuit if given electrical circuit consists of resistance r and inductance l so consider a electrical circuit containing the resistance r and inductance l connected in a series with voltage source e as shown in the diagram consider a electrical circuit diagram this electrical circuit consists of resistance r inductance l connected in a series with voltage source e let i be the current i flowing in the circuit at any time t okay then we know voltage drop across resistance r is given by relation ri similarly voltage drop across inductance l is given by l di by dt that is voltage drop across resistance r is ri voltage drop across inductance l is l di by dt and applied voltage source is e okay then by kirchhoff's voltage law we know the statement of kirchhoff's voltage law the algebraic sum of voltage drop around closed circuit is equal to total electromotive force applied to that circuit so here given electrical circuit consists of resistance r and inductance l so voltage drop across resistance r is ri voltage drop across inductance l is l di by dt the algebraic sum of voltage drop across resistance and inductance is equal to total electromotive force applied to that circuit this is the kirchhoff's voltage law due to this kirchhoff's voltage law we get this differential equation now we rewrite this equation as we write it as l di by dt plus ri is equal to e now to write this differential equation in standard form we make coefficient of di by dt 1 to make coefficient of di by dt 1 we divide both side by l so if we divide both side by l this differential equation takes the form as di by dt plus r by l into i is equal to e upon l this is the 
differential equation for an electrical circuit which consists of resistance R, inductance L connected in a series with electromotive force E. Okay. After solving this differential equation for I and T by known method, we get solution as I is equal to function of T. Means we get relation between current I and time T. Okay. Now, we shall discuss how to construct a differential equation for electrical circuit which consists of resistance R and capacitance of capacity C that is RC circuit. Now consider an electrical circuit containing resistance R and capacitance C connected in a series with voltage source E as shown in the diagram. So here this, an, this is an electrical circuit which consists of resistance R condenser of capacity C connected in a series with voltage source E. If I be the current flowing in the circuit at any time T then for this electrical circuit we can construct a differential equation as we know voltage drop across resistance R is Ri, voltage drop across condenser of capacity C is Q by C. That is, we know these basic relations. Voltage drop across resistance R is Ri, voltage drop across condenser C is Q by C. And voltage source applied to this circuit is capital E. Therefore, by Kirchhoff's voltage law, by Kirchhoff's voltage law, we know the algebraic sum of voltage drop across resistance and condenser is equal to total electromotive force applied to that circuit. Therefore, by Kirchhoff's voltage law, voltage drop across resistance R is Ri plus voltage drop across condenser C or capacitance C is Q by C. The algebraic sum of these two is equal to total electromotive force applied to given electrical circuit. Okay, we get this relation by Kirchhoff's voltage law. But we know relation between current I and charge Q. That is, I is equal to dQ by dt. If we put I is equal to dQ by dt in this relation, we get R dQ by dt plus Q by C is equal to E. Then, to write this differential equation in standard form, we divide both sides by R. If we divide both sides by R, this differential equation takes the form as dQ by dt plus Q upon RC is equal to E upon R, which is the differential equation of electrical circuit, which consists of resistance R and condenser of capacity C. Again, if we solve this differential equation, which is first order and first degree differential equation, we get relation between Q and T means we get relation between charge Q and time T. Okay. Then, <coughs> see here, in RL circuit, we get differential equation as di by dt plus R by L into I is equal to E upon L. And in RC circuit, we get differential equation dQ by dt plus Q upon RC is equal to E upon R. Check the form of these two differential equations. In first differential equation, I is dependent variable, T is independent variable. Here degree of dependent variable I is 1. Degree of dependent variable is 1. This differential equation does not involve the product of I and Di by dt. Right hand side is free from I. So it is a linear differential equation of first order. Similarly, dQ by dt plus Q upon RC is equal to E upon R is RC circuit, is a differential equation of RC circuit in which Q is dependent variable, T is independent variable, degree of dependent variable Q is 1, degree of its derivative is also 1. This differential equation does not involve the product of Q and its derivative. Also, right hand side is free from independent, uh, free from dependent variable Q. So it is also linear differential equation means in both RL circuit and RC circuit we get a linear differential equation of first order. So remember in both the electrical circuit we get differential equation of first order and first degree which is a linear differential equation. Okay 
and after solving these differential equations by known method we get current flowing in a circuit at any time t now to solve examples based on this electrical circuit we need two integration formula in some of the examples first one is integration of e raised to ax into sin bx dx is equal to e raised to ax upon a square plus b square into a sin bx minus b cos bx plus c and also we need second integration formula integration of e raised to ax into cos bx dx where a and b both are the constants is equal to e raised to ax upon a square plus b square into inside bracket a, a cos bx plus b sin bx plus constant of integration c.